Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a shopper drop. If you don't know what shopper drop is, it's basically when I go through Trend Moods Instagram and I show you all of the new makeup releases and telling you my thoughts on them, whether or not I will be purchasing them and just this, that, and the other. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the new holiday makeup releases, then just keep watching. <laughs> been so long since I've done one of these. I am so behind on these makeup releases. I think just with me being so busy, I haven't even been really able to fully keep up on everything. So today we're going to have a thorough look into trend mood without this video being 40 minutes long. We'll see. So if you are not following trend mood one on Instagram, I would certainly suggest that you do. Trend mood has everything you need to know about what's up in the makeup world as far as releases go. But let's see how far I want to scroll back. I wish I would have done a few in between, but I just haven't had time because there's been a ridiculous amount of new makeup out. So one of the things that I first wanted to talk about was the ColourPop Pretty Fresh line. And in that line, you're getting a tinted moisturizer. There's also a setting mist, a beauty sponge, or you can purchase the whole kit and it's only $25. I definitely plan on getting this. I know a lot of people have purchased and reviewed this already. I'm kind of late on it, but Kathleen Light seems to love it. I'm really into light coverage makeup right now, as you can see, right? And yeah, it's only $14. I think I'll just get the whole set, but I don't know when I'm going to order it, but next time I place a ColourPop order, I do plan on getting it. I haven't had the best luck with ColourPop base products. I just, they're, they aren't very good <laughs> for me personally. So maybe this will change my mind. We'll see. Oh my gosh. So Too Faced has, and this is available now. I'm all the way back in September 27th at the moment, but this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice and everything nice makeup set. So you have a palette, a better than sex mascara, and what looks to be a lip gloss. Absolute pass. Now I do pick up a few things from the Too Faced Holiday Collection every year. Not everything is horrible and just interesting to me. Honestly, everything is cute every year. I really like the stuff, but the quality is just almost never worth it. Normally they'll release an eyeshadow palette in tin that's usually good quality. That this year is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette, which I thought was pretty nice. In my last video I used it and I created a sudden look. But anyways, this looks like it's horrible. Um, just given the pattern of Too Faced products in this packaging tend to be made in China and the quality is not as good when they make items from there so it's just another repeat of all the other Too Faced palette colors that exist. I don't... <laughs> cute palette though. Next we have this Lunar Beauty the Moon Spell collection. Now, I've personally never purchased anything from Manny's line. The palettes do look really pretty, though. I have seen them in store. I haven't swatched them ever, but this palette, I'm digging it. It looks super nice. So, this launched August 4th. That was so long ago. Okay. No, this looks so stunning, though. I love purples. Okay, I probably won't purchase it right now because I am swimming in new products that I need to try and review, but I can see myself, like, once this comes to Morphe or next time I go to Morphe, picking this up because it is super pretty, or if it comes to Sephora, whatever. I'll need to see it in person before I decide, but looks stunning. So now we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Carly Bible collaboration. I feel so horrible for Jackie, Ina, and Carly Bible. Jackie, Ina in particular, I think got the shortest end of the stick on this one because this is ABH's like fifth palette in two months, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. It's just, they're doing it to make money and blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong, the Norvina palettes that have come in between them are super good. Purchased all three of them. Like, I'm complaining about the brand right now, but the palettes are really good quality and I did buy all of them, so. <laughs> Five palettes, it's very overwhelming to consumers. Jackie Ina didn't get her moment to shine with her palettes. She had about like two weeks before the next palette released and it was a big deal. And I know these palettes were supposed to have been leaked, so they were released early, but regardless, why are you making so many palettes and then have the Carly Bybel palette on top? It's just not fair. Jackie Ina didn't get have her time and Carly Bybel is not. I don't know. I think it's kind of gross of the company to do that. Um, and it just, it's like, I don't know. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But 
That being said, I did purchase this palette. It looks absolutely stunning. I really want to support Carly anyways because she seems to be really sweet, really grounded, and the colors are really pretty. I have her BH Cosmetics palette still. That is so nice when she did a collaboration with them. So I was so excited to see kind of another light and airy palette. This is on the way right now and I'm really excited about it. I don't know about the packaging. It looks a little tacky to me, but I'm mad at ABH, but I still bought everything, so whatever. Okay, let's move on. So Charlotte Tilbury released like a huge holiday amount of stuff. So I already purchased the big long palette and reviewed that a few weeks ago, but a bunch of new stuff has come out. So let's see. There's a whole $200 advent calendar. Normally that would excite me, but I have so much from Charlotte Tilbury that I feel like that would just be a bunch of repeats. You have this Hot Lips Luxury Wardrobe, where it's a bunch of Hot Lips lipsticks, which that's, I already own <laughs> that entire line, but that's a really good gift to give somebody. It's an amazing range of colors. So if you had your eye on it, I would definitely recommend you invest in it because it was one of my favorite lipstick lines to release this year. Ugh, you just have so much. The Instant Look in a Palette. I've never purchased any of those from Charlotte Tilbury. That just looks so good. I saw Kinky Sweats use it and it looked great, so it did get me a little bit more interested in it, but I'm really just, like, not interested in it. I don't know. But honestly, just taking a look at everything, that little palette of pops I wasn't interested in, I saw it in stores, brush set I'm not interested in, I mean, I'm not purchasing anything from the new releases from them. I already purchased so much from her, so she'll live. Oh, alongside ABH's Carly Bybal palette. There were a few other things that they're releasing for the holidays. So you have a glitter set, and I did stop and look at it for a little bit, but I don't need glitter. I don't use glitters as much anymore in my looks. A lot of brands seem to have catered to that by adding glitter shades in their palettes, and I don't know, it's just a bit of a hassle. So I haven't been using glitter lately. It hasn't been my favorite thing, which is something I thought I would never say, but passing on that, but I did eyeball it. Like, it's the kind of thing where if somebody bought it for me, but I'm not about to spend my own money on that. We have have a liquid lipstick set which I will not be purchasing it looks like there's a gloss in there as well yeah liquid lipsticks and one gloss I am so done with liquid lipsticks I own so many I don't need any more so that's just not a set that interests me and then you have the highlighting trio which I did look at maybe if it ever goes on sale I will purchase it because I do like loose highlighters and I want to try the so Hollywood one in particular and you might as well get the trio so if that ever goes on sale I will definitely be picking that up Oh yes, so a lot of you guys have been messaging me about the Huda Nudes palettes and I purchased the ones that came out this summer, all three, and doing like three palettes in one video is always such a big production because I like to do whole looks, I just don't do the eye, and I just have so much new makeup for the holidays that I have to skip it on that one for now because they look absolutely stunning. Right now, I'm very overwhelmed with all the amounts of products I have to work with, so I'm not purchasing those right now. I'm going to wait and see if there's a sale, then I will pick it up because they're gorgeous and I at least want the light and the medium, probably not the dark. Uh, it's just a lot of rich tones, but I don't know. I might get all three if I see them in store. So I eventually plan on purchasing at least a couple of those, but right now those are not at the top of my priority list. Some of you guys know this, but as far as the Pat McGrath Labs holiday collection goes, she revealed a new eyeshadow quad and a couple of highlight creams. So I did order that Rose Astral Quad. It's supposed to come in on Monday. And then there's two of those highlight creams. One is blue and one is gold. I did order the gold one so that I could play with the formula because I'm not going to use the blue one. That's just not me, but I'm very excited to use it. I think it'll probably be something I'll end up using on my eyes, not necessarily my face, but you guys know I gotta give it a try because I love Pat McGrath, so those are on the way. This interested me, this Farsali holiday mini set of like their oils and skincare stuff. I've never wanted to shell out the money for an oil that I thought was kind of gimmicky if I'm being honest, but now it looks like there's a few different serums and oils for $25, and I almost purchased it the other day. I didn't, I'm holding tight to not do it, but that's something I want. I think I'm gonna ask that for that for Christmas. That's a good set to get. 
So Dominique Cosmetics revealed this six pan matte eyeshadow palette, which she's cute. She has like lilacs, pinks, kind of more cool toned colors. We have like a warm yellow brown. I'm not going to be picking it up. It's the last thing that I need, but it's really cute. But I'm not picking it up. ColourPop revealed this like super gray smoke show collection and palette. It's kind of pretty. I kind of want it because it's really unique. I won't wear it. I rarely wear colors like that, but I don't know. Maybe I will. This is something that I'll probably add into my basket when I order the tinted moisturizer, to be honest. So I'm not in a hurry to pick that one up, but I can see myself just kind of tacking it on to my order because it is really cute and I'm a sucker for those monochromatic palettes from ColourPop. Jouer had a couple of things coming for their holiday collection. So it looks like this is called the Rose Cut Gems. I'm so disappointed in Jouer. Is it just me or does this look cheap and not Jouer quality? I mean, obviously I cannot speak on the quality, but it just looks cheap to me. Like their Rose Bouquet blush palette that came out earlier this year was so perfect. It was beautiful and dainty and it looked very feminine. <laughs> I mean, it didn't look expensive, but it didn't look like this. Like, this looks cheap to me, and I won't be getting that lip set or whatever. No, I'm not interested in that, and I'm... Uh, I had a little bit of higher expectations for Jouer, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. This Fenty... What's it called? What's it, what, are, what are you called? Glossy Posse set. It has five mini shades of the Gloss Bomb formula, which is amazing. There are fireworks going on. I hope you don't hear them. Yeah, there's five shades of lip gloss and only one of them is a repeat, I believe. So I already purchased this. I was so excited to have different colors of that lip gloss. And then also there was this set with a little mini highlighter and another lip gloss in Sand Castle. I purchased that as well. I don't know what got into me. I just really wanted them. I don't get as excited about Fenty releases as a bunch of other new people. They got good glosses. I love throwing them in my purse. And their highlighters are good too. So, I purchased that. Also, Charlotte Tilbury has a new highlighter out, Magical Star Highlighter. It looks super pretty, and I'm sure it's gorgeous on the skin, but I'm, I don't need to be spending $45 on highlighter. Not that I haven't done it before, I know, but you've seen how much money I've spent. I gotta chill. This MAC lipstick set, their lipstick sets always catch my eyes. I'm a sucker for sets, but this set looks ugly. It just does. The colors in here are ugly. Don't feel offended if you purchased it, but those just aren't colors that I would wear. Is this something else by ABH? I have not seen this yet. This is a holiday glitter kit. First of all, it's a really cute idea, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure some people could actually use that. But I'm mad at ABH, so I'm just gonna move on. Um, I have done videos in the past on the Jeffree Star mystery boxes because I it, it was a mystery I wanted to know. Um, I passed this time, they're Halloween-y and I don't need Halloween colors, I, I won't use them. So I just saved my money with this one. I didn't do it, my cousin did it though, so I'm excited to see what she gets. And then Morphe came out with a mini version of the James Charles palette genius. I think that was a really smart marketing strategy on their part because now I think more people will buy it. I wish I could return my big one and exchange it for the little one because I still haven't used my big one. I bought it. It's in my collection. I'm keeping it forever. But I like the idea of a mini one because that palette is so big. It's huge. It takes up so much space in my makeup collection. So I want the small one. I'm so sorry for these fireworks. There's a pumpkin patch by my house and they do fireworks every night in the evenings. We're going to push through. Wait a second. Lorac X Rachel Zoe. These palettes look adorable. $15 each. So they're probably not very good quality, but they look so pretty. I feel like I used to love Lorac. I used to purchase all of their palettes every year, but they kind of just stayed in their lane and never went with the trends and put themselves in a hole and it looks like they're trying to dig themselves out. This collection is cute. It looks a little cheap. I'm interested to know where it's made, but that looks really cute. I might just like want to purchase that just to support the brand because I have a soft spot for Lorac because I used to love their shadows so much. I don't know though. 
but it looks really cute. Just okay. so you can know my thoughts on the whole Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star thing. I know a lot of you probably don't pay attention to it, but I have been watching the series because I find it very interesting. There's a lot of the parts that are boring and I wish weren't in there. I'm not like a fan so much of Shane Dawson and really not Jeffree Star either. I just love his passion for makeup and how he does treat his makeup like art. The series has definitely been interesting to me in some parts. Just kind of seeing the development of a palette and what happens. Um, just getting a little bit more insight into that process. I might, when this palette comes out, I'll probably pick it up just because I took the time to watch the series. It's very well done. Some of the colors really do look nice and I really do feel like Jeffree puts a lot into his makeup brand how he is as a person whatever but yes he treats his makeup like art that's how i see makeup and yeah i'm i think i'll pick this up because it's just fun Alright, so that sums it up for today's shopper drop. Let me know your thoughts and opinions of the releases that I talked about. What are you picking up? What are you passing on? If you have not yet taken the time to subscribe to my channel, I do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.